All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Alex once again with the EOT News Flash coming to you, not live, but at least in real time from my kitchen table. So if you've been watching the channel for any amount of, you know, for the past couple of weeks, you probably know what's about to happen here. I'm going to open some sealed magic product, and today I've got something super exciting. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is one sealed box of Modern Horizons. Oh boy, I haven't actually opened a box of sealed, truly sealed what I would consider to be magic product uh, since Modern Masters 2017. Obviously, I've opened the, the odd commander deck, um, guild kit, things like that, some booster packs for the channel, but nothing like this for a couple of years. So I am super excited to open this. Um, yeah, I've been waiting for this for a couple of weeks now. I ordered this back probably about a month and a half ago. Got a super sweet deal on an eBay sale. And uh, yeah, this is a little birthday gift to myself. So uh, yeah, we're not gonna dawdle anymore. We're just gonna tear into this and hopefully open some sweet cards. And uh, yeah, let's not get wasted more time. Modern Horizons. Okay, just to show that this is truly a completely 100% sealed box, we're actually gonna take the shrink wrap off for you guys on camera and just do like a whole reveal of this ridiculous thing because these booster box displays have, have gotten have pretty elaborate with these. I guess these are the more supplemental sets that they do these for, but yeah, this is pretty wild here. So there's the shrink wrapped off. And then we can slide the box itself out. Uh, we have a, uh, let's see what's actually on this. I'm assuming they do like they do with like the intro. Okay, that's, that's kind of neat. That's, um, can I get that whole thing in the shot? That's, that's pretty cool. That's the, uh, Force of Virtue art, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. All right. That's <laughs> nothing worth looking at, really. But, uh, yeah, so here's, here's the box proper. Let me take out this, uh, thing here. And then we have our, our display. I guess you kind of have to... Yeah, there's, there's Urza on the back. And yeah, there is uh, 36 packs of Modern Horizons ready ready to open up. So uh, yeah, we're going to get right into this. Uh, we're going to start off with an Ayula pack. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the packs are backwards. So we're going to see what's on front here. Okay. Oh, cool. Right off the back, the Foil Merit Lage token. That's pretty sweet. So, if I'm not mistaken, the rare is behind this. So, I'm going to start from the back and go forward. And hopefully this doesn't mess this whole thing up. Okay, yeah. So, we've got right probation, some sliver, blade back sliver, choking tethers... First Sphere Gargantua, Tree Folk Umbra, Marasa Behemoth, Geomancer's Gambit, Settle Beyond Reality, cool little removal spell. Let's get the focus on the camera there a little better. There we go. We've got Universal Automaton. We've got Mob, we have Valiant Changeling, Everdream, Nantuko Cultivator. I think we're getting to our rare here. Ooh, Nether Spirit, that's a cool one. And then we have our Snow-Covered Plains. There's one of these in every pack. We have our art card here, which is the Lightning Skelemental, and apparently there's like foils of these in every pack, so that's kind of neat. And we have our uh, Full Merit Lich tokens, so that's pretty cool. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Alright, we got uh, Urza, High Lord Artificer here. Just gonna do it again the same way. Answered Prayers. Reckless Charge, Phantom Ninja, 
Mother Bear. Yeah, get your bears. First Fair Gargantua. Tree Folk Umbra. Arkham's Astrolib. Apparently, this is already seeing play in some modern snow control decks. Spring Bloom Dryad, cool little ramp card there. Get your lands in the graveyard. Geomancer's Gambit. The card stock feels really good on these two. It's obviously something you can't capture on camera, but I know they said they were gonna fix that problem, and they definitely have. Uh, Irregular's Cohort, or Changelings. Ooh, Thundering Dijin. Strikes like a bolt from a brainstorm. Sling Gang Lieutenant. Shout out to Siege Gang Commander. We've got Etchings of the Chosen and our rare. Ah, Aria of Flame. All right, not great rares. Snow Covered Mountain. And our art is one of the specters. And we've got ourselves a zombie spider token. Cool. All right. Bit of a wash on the pack so far, but that's okay. We're only two in. More Ninjas, Imposter of the Sixth Pride, Spinehorn Minotaur, Moonblade Shinobi, Azra Smokeshaper, Mother Bear, Shenanigans, Savage Swipe, uh, Volatile Claws, File, Urza's Rage, Major Downshift, Generous Gift, have an elephant. Uh, Talisman of Resilience, first of our Emmy Colored Talismans. Oh, there it is! Urza High Lord Artificer. Oh boy, Mythic number one. Awesome. Snow Covered Island. Uh, this is the Presenting Vista token. And we have a soldier slash Sarah emblem. Nice. Okay. Urza. Coming in hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Moving right along. Let's not rest on our laurels. Let's keep it, let's keep it going. Keep this party going. All right. Martyr Soul. Lava Dart. String of Disappearances. Rhyme Tender, Ezra Smoke Shaper, Iceberg Ken Ken Crooks, Lancer Sliver, Rank Officer, Pondering Mage, Factor Fiction, put that to the side, Talisman of Creativity, Wall of Blossoms, put that to the side. Hey, ooh, Force of Vigor. There's our first of a force cycle. Very cool. Ooh, foil Kaya's Guile. That's really pretty. Look at that foiling on that. Very nice. Snow Covered Forest. We have our art card for um, Echo of Aeons. And then we have ourselves an Illusion and Elephant token. Cool. So that might be our foil rare right there. Usually about one per box. If we can do better than that, let's find out. Doing good so far. Four packs in, not bad. All right, String of Disappearances, Answer the Prayers, Reckless Charge, Knight of the New, oh, Ninja of the New Moon, sorry, that's a ninja. Rhyme Tender, Excavating Anarid, Cleaving Sliver, Knight of Old Banalia, Mana War. There's a good limited play right there. Mind Rake. Glacial Revelation. Mill yourself for six cards effectively. Limited. Cunning Evasion. Feaster of Fools. And our rare. Ooh, cool. Cordial Vampire. Mountain. Uh, there's Yogmoth. And. Ooh, Foil Elephant Token. Very nice, very nice. All right, keep it going. Got another Ayula pack here. All right, 
smoke shroud, wall of 1000 cups, goblin war party, I kite, thornado, knight, or oh god, I did it again, ninja of the new moon, elvish fury, putrid goblin, winter's rest, weather the storm, or scale guardian, Crypt Rats, Talisman of Curiosity. Ooh, Unsettled Mariner, nice. That's gonna be straight into modern for humans and um, spirits. Silverbird Swamp. Got our end linked art token and a shapeshifter and rhino. Cool. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, getting back to it with our Urza pack next. I Kite, Martyr Soul, Lava Dart, Frost Walla, Gluttonous Slug, Thornado, Gilded Light, Magmatic Sinkhole, Amorphous Axe, Rain of Illusion, Twisted Revelation, Reflection, Twisted Reflection, Face of Divinity, Secluded Steep, there's our first cycling land, nice. Whoa, and there's Sisse. I've been wanting to build a commander deck with her since she was revealed. Awesome, awesome. And our Sun Covered Island. And the art for Waterlogged Grove. This is the blue green uh, Horizon Land. And then we have ourselves a Goblin and Bear token. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Love those cycling lands. Glad they put those in this. Uh, desperately needed for reprints. That's what even a modern creature because that's all the shenanigans you can do with them. Alright. Moving right along. Chiller Pillar. Soul Strike Technique. Goat Nap. Frost Walla. Gluttonous Slug. Pyrophobia. Windcaller Avon. Return from Extinction. Crosin Tusker. Battle Screech, very powerful uncommon. Lanawar Tribe, literally three Lanawar Elves put together. Regrowth, very powerful card. Winds of Abandon, a nice overload uh, psych, um, path to exile. Oh, we have a foil in this pack too. Imposter of the Six Pride. God, look at the foil on that. That is gorgeous. Some covered planes. Art for Soul Herder. And a foil zombie token. I, I love the fact they're putting foil zombie or foil tokens in this set. So that's really cool. You know, and I, I know we're not getting like a foil per pack like we did with, you know, Modern Masters, Ultimate Masters, and all that nonsense, but still a very cool little thing they're putting in here um, to open. Very cool collector item. Next up, we've got more Ayula, Queen of Bears. Let's see what we got in here. We got Smoke Shroud, Wall of 1000 Cuts, Goblin War Party, Bellowing Elk, Ransack the Lab, Fountain of Icker, Orcish Hellraiser, Venomous Changeling, Stream of Thought, Throat Seeker, Smiting Helix, Scuttling Sliver, Ooh, Deep Forest Hermit, nice. Oh, more foils. Foil Exclude, wow, look at that. That's a great foil right there, beautiful. So covered Mountain. Uh, this is the art for Scour All Possibilities. So that's kind of neat. And we have an Elemental and Regular Merit Lady Token. Cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Curious to see how much that foil mirror lidge token is going for right now. That's a cool pull right there. All right, Quakefoot Cyclops, Chiller Pillar, Soul Strike Technique, Goat Nap, Treetop Ambusher, Changeling Outcast, Winter's Rest, Weather the Storm, Rocks Veteran, 
Trumpeting Herd, Exclude, Non-Foil, Rot Widow Pack, Icehide Golem, and a rare Dead of Winter. So covered planes, and this is the art for Ever Mine, Ever Dream, yep. And a foil soldier token, very cool. Alright, we're looking for actual horizon lands, force of negation, uh, prismatic vista, archmage's charm. There's a lot of things I want out of this set. Alright, Bladeback Sliver, Fairy Seer, Trustworthy Scout, Quakefoot Cyclops, Bellowing Elk, Ransack the Lab, Savage Swipe, Amorphous Axe, Ign Igneous Elemental, Prohibit, Con Conifer Worm, Frostwalk Bastion, First Chosen's Sliver, and our rare, Fallen Shinobi. Nice. Got a Swamp. And the Videlkin Ninja Guy. Indigenous Infiltrator. And a Spider and Bird Token. Cool. I think there's about 54 of those art cards in this set, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 54 is the number right there of how many are in this are in this set. They did a pretty good job picking the good arts too, I think. Alright. Uh, Bladeback Sliver, Fairy Seer, Trustworthy Scout, Spore Frog, ADH right there, Diabolic Edict, sorry Liliana's Triumph, this is just better, Rank Officer, Spring Bloom Druid, Cav Cave of Temptation, yeah, that card's bad. Irregular Cohort, Silumgar Scavenger, Ravenous Giant, Undead Augur, Sadistic Obsession. Oh, there's one, Fiery Isla. This is the rare, this is the most expensive one in the set right now too. Uh, this is our canopy land for blue red. Forest. Uh, mirrored and Besieged art card, and we got ourselves some soldier and squirrel action right there. You know, the one benefit about this set is that it puts so many tokens in this that I actually need for my Amara EDH deck, so... <laughs> you know, find the value where you can. There's just there's just all kinds of fun things in this set that are, I, I think, you know, much needed, you know. Double-sided tokens, art cards, foil tokens, all just kind of dumb mythic rares. You know, this is a fun set. This is a fun set. Uh, Via Shino Shen, <laughs> Via Shino Sand Sprinter. Say that five times fast. Spell Snuff. Ephemerate. Oops. Treetop Ambusher. Changeling Outcast. Geomancer's Gambit. Not convinced that isn't modern playable. Settle Beyond Reality. Universal Automaton. Mob. Segovian Angel. Fun fact, this is sort of a play on Segovian Leviathan, which was like a six mana 3-3 three, three from like, I think, Alliances. The joke here is everything on the Segovia is really tiny, so that's why this angel is a one mana 1-1. One, one. Anyway, uh, next up we have Talisman of Hierarchy, Black-White Talisman. Oh, another Talisman of Conviction, Red-White. We have Blizzard Strix and our rare... Oh, Sword of Sinew and Steel. The worst of the swords, but still cool rare. And we have a snow-covered island, and the swords art card as well. And a little zombie and angel token. Cool. Awesome. That's two of our mythics down of a potential four. Hoping for more. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to be greedy. <laughs> All right. Got halfway through the first half of the box. So a quarter way through the box. Yeah, math. All right, Recruit the Worthy, Via Shino Sand Sprinter, Spell Snuff, Ephemerate, Twin Silk Spider, Unearth, Igneous Elemental, Prohibit, Elvish Fury, Putrid Goblin, Wing Shard, cool storm card coming back. Tranquil Thicket, nice. Need more of those for your EDH. Munitions Expert, and our rare. 
Oh, more filter la or horizon lands. Nice. Manus Forest. The art for, I think this is Mindrake. Yeah. And then a Goblin Elephant token. Nice. So three cards out of that pack that I am actively looking for. All the filter lands, all of the cycling lands, I think, are definitely, you know, like I said, they're great reprints. EDH wants to play those a lot as well, and they're just, they're just really good, valuable cards to put in a set like this. You know, not a ton of money in it, but it's good to boost the Uncommon with a pretty desirable thing like that. Uh, Fists of Flame, Scour All Possibilities, Recruit the Worthy, Spore Frog, or EDH, Diabolic Edict, Cleaving Sliver, Knight of Old Banalia, Mana War, Mind Rake, Marasa Behemoth, Grave Shifter. There's Lonely Sandbar, there's our blue one. And Vesper Lark, probably some kind of combo potential in modern. And our rare. Oh, Mirrored and Besieged, there it is. This is going straight into my Brea EDH deck uh, because I want to kill people with the Phyrexian side. Anyway. And some of the Swamp, and the art card for Urza High Lord Artificer. Is that, yeah, High Lord, Lord High Artificer. Look at that art, just fantastic. We have an illusion and a, here's the, the construct token for Urza. Very cool. Good, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I'm hitting all the things I want so far. I'd love to see some Force Negations. Foil Force Negation would be pretty sweet, you know. As you do, as you do. Enduring Sliver, Fist of Flame, Scour All Possibilities, Nimble Mongoose, I'm gonna put that, that side. Headless Spectre, Shelter. Cool reprint from a very, very old card right here. Seeing a ton of play right now in EDH um, because of Feather. Interesting stuff right there. Nature's Chant, Savage Swipe, Aphmorphous Axe, Hollow Head Sliver, Ingenious Infiltrator, Ever Dream, and uh, oh, we have a foil here. This is going to be our rare. Future Sight, that's pretty cool. Foil Putrid Goblin, that's pretty neat. Solid foiling right there. Snow Covered Plains, and our art card for Knight Captain of Eos, I believe. Ranger Captain of Eos. And then our foil token is a Shapeshifter. That's really cool. Very cool, very cool. I might do something with uh, with Future Sight in, in VH. I don't know, maybe, we'll see about that. I've got a Jeskai deck I'm building right now that might take place, uh, take some play out of that. Uh, Bargarden Dragonheart. Moonblade Shinobi. Enduring Sliver. Twin Silk Spider. Unearth. Fountain of Icker, Orcish Hellraiser, Venomous Changeling, Stream of Thought, Excavating Anorid, Birthing Burrow or Birthing Bows, Soul Herder, Carrion Feeder, putting that aside for EDH, and our rare Bizarre Trade Mage, literally a bizarre Baghdad on a stick. Pretty cool. Still going. Awesome, and we've got uh, Ren and Six, the Planeswalker from this set, and ourselves a bear. Oh, bear and changeling. I can see the back of it before you guys can. <laughs> All right. Last pack for the first half of our box. Good box so far. Two Mythics down. Hopefully two more and then some. Stirring Address. Boggardin Dragonheart. Moonblade Shinobi, Burst Sphere Gargantua, Winding Way, Wart Eye Witch, Volatile Claws, Trumpeting Herd, Gilded Light, Reign of Revelation. Love the art on this. That is a Kev. Or a... No, it's a Nils Ham. I'm not familiar with that artist. Squirrel Nest. Good stuff right there. O O O Nero Phage. <laughs> this thing's wild. This might go into my um, Zagani EDH deck. Throw a bunch of cards, put some counters on it. Good stuff. Oh, uh, we have Splicer's Skill and our rare Mist Syndicate Naga. Cool stuff. Stuck on an island. An art card for. The hell is this? 
Silent Clearing. Um, I think this is the black white one. I I have no idea which one this is actually, but uh, maybe we'll find it. <laughs> I, I would have to guess that it's the black and white one. We also have a bird elemental token. All right, half box down, have to go. What is that card? I have no idea what Silent Clearing is. It's gotta be one of the lands. I know it has to be, but I can't remember which color combination it is. Oh well, all right, Quickfoot Cyclops, brush it off. Sabelle Snuff, Trustworthy Scout, Headless Spectre, Spore Frog, Silumgar Scavenger, Cleaving Sliver, Cave of Temptation, Mana War, Tempered Sliver, Exclude, Goblin Matron, Ooh, Mox Tantalite, so we have a foil in our pack as well. I still don't know if this is any good. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, Foil Shatter Assumption, look at that. That is pretty. Very nice. Snuckerwood Island, Wall of 1,000 Cuts. We want a foil, foil token. We've got Bird. Nice. Mox Tantalite. I just... Uh, Moxes are powerful. Like, they're always powerful. But I just don't know if that one's powerful enough. <laughs> I just don't know. Just don't know. Goblin Champion. Fairy Seer. Recruit the Worthy. Wart Eye Witch, Treetop Ambusher, Spring Bloom Druid, Geomancer's Gambit, Irregular Cohort, Venomous Changeling, Orcish Hellraiser, Dregscape Dreg Sliver, Scale Up. This is going to go into either my Azoni or Amara EDH deck. Dismantling Blow. This might have some play in EDH as well for me. Collected Conjuring. Really underwhelming card right there. Snow-Covered Plains. A Mask of something. Face of Divinity. Yep. And Illusion. Elemental Token. Cool. Almost tossed away our bad rare in the pile <laughs> of just other cards. I like the little cascading effect the little feeder has right here. That's nice. All right. So it's such a simple thing to, to have, but it's, 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 it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> All right. Via Shino Sand Sprinter. Scour All Possibilities. Stirring Address. Wart Eye Witch. Treetop Ambusher. Volatile Claws. Defile. Prohibit. Igneous Elemental, Onerophage, Fire Bolts, Rebuild. That might do something for EDH. Oh, I think we have a foil here. Yep, got another foil. Oh, there's Kess Dissident Mage. Yes, I was hoping to open her. Uh, yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome for Commander. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, foil via Shino Sand Sprinter. Mountain, we have the uh, Umizawa's Charm, and we have ourselves a Soldier and Rhino Token. Nice! Yes, that's four Mythics in. Uh, do you guys think we can catch five? Five Mythics. Five Mythics. Can we do it? Can, can we do five? Stirring Address, Quakefoot Cyclops, Spell Snuff. Trustworthy Scout, Unearth, Winding Way, Prohibit, Igneous Elemental, Shelter, Nature's Chant, Barren Moor, first one of those, Pillage, Carrion Feeder, and a rare. Ooh, Giver of Runes, nice. That's a fun one. Plains. Wart Eye Witch Art Card, and Elephant, and Changeling. Giver of Runes. So glad they did not print Mother of Runes in this set. Modern does not need that. Next up, we've got more Ayula. Queen of Bears. You guys can already check out the uh, 
um, Game Nights episode where they brought on Graham and Kathleen from Loaded Ready Run, where they where Graham plays on a Yulo deck. Probably one of their best episodes they've done f by by far, bar none. All right, back to it. Boggard and Dragonheart, Phantasmal Form, Enduring Sliver, Unearth. Winding Way, Venomous Changeling, Orcish Hellraiser, Excavating Honorid, Stream of Thought, Settle Beyond Reality, Grave Shifter, Zalfirin Decoy, Vesper Lark, and a rare. Ooh, Force of Virtue, nice. Swamp. Uh, the Astrolabe, ooh, and a Elemental Foil Token. Very cool. Vesper Lark, what do you do in modern? Has to do something ridiculous. Just has to do something ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, no, it's because it gets combo pieces for Splinter Twin and EDH. We're going to put that to the side. <laughs> I know kind of the running joke is that this set really should be called Commander Horizons, but, you know. Um, I, I definitely think Wizard kind of mismarketed this by saying it was Modern Horizons, um, when in actuality this is more like a love letter to Time Spiral, um, and it's like Time Spiral 2, essentially, so. You know, it's, it's, it's still a cool set, you know, I'm, I'm still all about it for Modern. Plenty of playable cards here in this set. Enduring Sliver, the Ishino Sand Sprinter, Scour All Possibilities. Diabolic Edict, Twin Silk Spider, Iceberg Kencrix, Lancer Sliver, Rank Officer, Pondering Mage, Arkham's Astrolabe, Ruination Rioter, Shatter Assumptions, Sp uh, Settled Rhymestag, and our rare Astral Drift. Very cool. Forest, uh, Force of Agony, Force of Despair, yeah. And we have an Elemental Splicer Golem Token. Cool. Next. All right, we got more Serapaths. I haven't seen Sarah yet. Let me close the one open here. All right. Uh, Reprobation, Blade Black Sliver. Choking Tethers, Ephemerate, Diabolic Edict, Twin Silk Spider, Amorphous Axe, Reign of Revelation, Shenanigans, Savage Swipe, King of the Pride, Meow, Hollowhead Sliver, Watcher from Tomorrow, the Hideaway Wizard, pretty cool, and our rare. Ooh, so, okay, Silent Clearing. There it is. That's the one we're looking for. <laughs> I can remember the name of it. And Silkenbird Island. And our this is one of the slivers. This is Lancer Sliver. Like, I couldn't tell you which sliver is which without actually the name of the card on it, so <laughs> glad they put it on the back. And that's our token, yeah. So Silent Clearing. That is that is the Black White Pit Horizon Land, like I thought it was. Mystery solved. <laughs> um, so that's three of the Five. We're missing the red white one and the blue green one so far, but not a bad start for the, for the lands. All right, more Eula here. Getting down to the last. I don't know, I got 10 or so packs right there, if I had to guess. Hit all our mythics and our foil rare. Let's see what else we're going to value out of this. We have Ephemerate, Boggard and Dragonheart, Phantasmal Form, Umezawa's Charm. Nimble Mongoose, Segovian Angel, Pyrophobia, Windcaller Avon, Return from Extinction, Cross and Tusker, Alpine Guide, Throws of Chaos, a card that does so much, it's so little. Uh, Farmstead Gleaner. Force of Rage, Ugh, that's a bad one right there. And Forest to make up for it, I guess. And uh, this is a froggy guy. Excavating Honorid, yep. Force of Rage, oof. That is a really underwhelming magic card right there. 
Of all, all the four cycle is good, except for that one. Like, they can't all be good. I don't tell. Yes, they can. Of course, I can all be good. What am I talking about? All right. Imposter of the Sixth Pride. Spinehorn Minotaur. Moonblade Shinobi. Imizawa's Charm. Nimble Mongoose number three. Rocks Veteran. Trumpeting Herd. Gilded Light. Magmatic Sinkhole. Web, web Cleaver. Web, web Cleaver Changeling. Hard to say. Good Fortune Unicorn. Creature Fall! Oops. Splicer's Skill. And I wonder the heck this was. It's our own comment. Whoa! There's Protect Vista! Yes! Got it. And another foil. Elvish Fairy. Nice. Swamp. And Shinobi of the New Moon and a foil goblin token. Nice. Yeah, because I think Vista, um, this is a card that I think is going to not redefine, but very easily put a fix on a lot of modern mana bases. Just because the growing costs of the fetch lands, you know, Scalding Tarns, Misty Rainforests, Pulita Deltas, like those are all significantly more expensive than they should be, I think. And this is a really good way to help um, newer players to modern who are playing like a two color deck really fix their mana base easily. So this is a great card to have in this set. Very happy to see that open here. How many we got left? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine packs. And the math for Mythics works out to one in every eight. So probability aside, I would expect to see one more in this box. One, I'm, I'm hoping, one more in this box. <laughs> Chev Tethers, Reprobation, Goblin Champion, Thornado, Azra Smoke Shaper, Arkham's Astrolabe, Mob, Iceberg Cancrix, Cross and Tusker, Return from Extinction, Urza's Rage, Watcher from Tomorrow, Soul Herder, and the Rare. Ooh, Alter Dementia. Nice. This is going to be seeing a lot of play in Modern already, and I think might have a place in my Izoni EDH deck as well. Very cool card. Good to see that reprinted here. And I took over Planes, and our emblem for. Uh, Ren and Six, Shapeshifter, and I believe this is Smoke Shroud. That's pretty cool. Some neat art on that one. And we'll move it right along. All right. Do the odds favor us? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'd like to get one more Mythic. I know that's asking a lot. Chiller Pillar, Answered Prayers, Goblin War Party, Thornado. Ezra Smoke Shaper, Trumpeting Herd, Nature's Chance, Rocks Veteran, Igneous Elemental, Twisted Reflection, Birthing Bows, Eyeside Golem, Crashing Footfalls. Here's our rare. Okay, so there's a there's a foil in this pack as well. Cool little suspend spell. And ransack the lab. Forest, and here's Everdream again. Yeah, Everdream, yep. And we have the emblem for Sarah and an illusion token. Cool. What was the rare from that last pack? Oh, Altar of Dementia, that's right. Altar of Dementia. I think it's back from Tempest that was originally printed in. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so, <laughs> technical errors right there, guys. Sorry about that. Not the most professional production. Uh, Phantom Ninja, Imposter of the Sixth Pride, Spinehorn Minotaur, Frostwalla, Gluttonous Slug, Tree, or not Cave of Temptation, not Tree of Redemption, God, Man of War, Segovian Angel, Murasa Behemoth, Fountain of Icker, Glacial Revelation, Orcish Aura Flamma, Flamma First Slivers Chosen, and our rare. Oh, there's our fifth mythic, Sword of Truth and Justice. <laughs> Math works, guys. Math works. And a Suckerberg Swamp. Nice. Oh, and there's the Mox Tantalite art card. Nice. 
Nice, 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 nice. All right, all right. Beating the mean right now. Beating the mean. Ha! That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Let's keep the value train going here. Finishing strong. Finishing strong. Smoke Shroud. Soul Strike Technique. Lava Dart. Ninja of the New Moon. Frost Walla. Gluttonous Slug. Magmatic Sinkhole. Weather the Storm. Winter's Rest. Universal Automaton. Ravenous Giant. Throat Seeker. Wall of Blossoms, number two, and a rare Plague Engineer, cool. Silverwood Swamp, Art for Answered Prayers, I think is what this is. Yeah, Answered Prayers, and we have a Soldier Elven Dogen. Yeah, Plague Engineer is a neat little card. I don't know what you do with it, but it's a neat card. <laughs> I mean, I know what you do with it, but I don't know, like, what is it there for. All right, we're down to five packs, five packs. Mythic number six. Can we go for real broke? Lava Dart. Chiller Pillar. Answered Prayers. Goblin War Party. Bellowing Elk. Ninja of the New Moon. Winter's Rest. Universal Automaton. Trumpeting Herd. Nature's Chant. Rut Widow Pack. Shatter Assumption. Lava Belly Sliver and our rare... Ah, scrap yard combiner. Not very good. Mountain. And what are the slivers? Enduring sliver. This is the one that has Outlast. And we have a shapeshifter and squirrel token. It's pretty fun. Maybe I can abuse squirrel's nest in Amara. Hmm, maybe. All right. Here we go. Last five. Can we squeeze a little bit more value out of this box. Not that we already have it, but can we squeeze just a little bit more? Let's find out. String of Disappearances, Martyr Soul, Fists of Flame, Ransack the Lab, Bellowing Elk, Segovian Angel, Marasa Behemoth, Fountain of Icker, Arkham's Lat Astrolabe, Mob, Battle Screech, Conifer Worm, a Bumble Tree Folk, and the rare. Reap the Past. Come on. Island, uh, Winds of Abandon, and a Foil Bear. Yeah. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it is late, and I am tired. All right. Three to go. Three to go. Let's end it on a, on a whammy. Fists of Flame, Smoke Shroud, Soul Strike Technique, Tree Folk Umbra, Ransack the Lab, Excavating Honored, Stream of Thought, Subtle Beyond Reality, Silumgar Scavenger, Cleaving Sliver, Undead Augur, Regrowth, Face of Divinity, and the rare Ayula's Influence. Making some bears. Making some bears. And there's the Throws of Chaos art card. It's great art. Such great art. Great, great art. Alright, last two packs here. Can we find Sarah? Renin 6. Force of Negation would be a nice one to open. Need one of those for blue, white, and soul. Come on. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Goblin Champion. Fairy Seer. Recruit the Worthy. Goat Nap. Changeling Outcast. Tree Folk Umbra. Shelter. Snature's Chance. Elvish Fury. Putrid Goblin. Tranquil Thicket. I've only opened... A handful of recycling lands. I haven't seen a single red one yet. Hmm. Ingenious Infiltrator. Sadistic Obsession and the rare. Rata! Cloud or Slipper. Not bad. And we have our Mountain. We have Morph Morophon, the uh, the Boundless, somebody's in his name is. Yeah, the Boundless. The uh, Mythic Rare Changeling Lord. 
There's also a little fun uh, goblin token there. All right. Last pack. Big thank you to everybody watching and hanging out with me as I open these packs of Modern Horizons. This is our last pack. This box has been good. How much better can it get? Well, this one pack will have the answer to that question. No slow roll. Goat nap. String of disappearances. Slightly slow rolling because I'm going from the back. Uh, Martyr soul. Headless specter. Spore frog. Changeling outcast. Elvish fury. Putrid goblin. Magmatic sinkhole. Weather the storm. Wing shards. Talisman of Conviction. Wait, oh, is there... Oh, no, no foil, no foil. Blizzard Strix. All right, I'm going to slow roll it. Here's the token. Here's the land. There's the token. <laughs> oh, there's Hogak. And our rare. To branch up the box. Oh, sweet. Oh, now he's call. All right. I, I need a couple more of these for, uh, for ADH, so... Nice. All right. Very cool. Very cool. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's it guys. That's the box. Five mythics. Urza, both swords, Mox, and Kess. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now it's time to clean this all up. And go to bed. Cause I'm tired. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back later this week with more of the EOT news flash. I'm talking about M20. Because it's literally starting in like two weeks. So yeah. One box of Modern Horizons gone, guys. Have a great night.